have to be playing their uh, their main accounts. Bottom lane. I'm curious to see how this one goes for God the Juice. We're seeing that Sweden Strong is being hella annoying. Just going and smacking him down. They don't want to let him farm. He does have the Unstable Concoction, which is you know, one of the best level 1 spells. But he can't do much to own me. There are still owned me. He's dead. He's gone. Oh, the stun comes out. Doesn't matter. It's not going to be there in time. God the Juice gets the kill on me. Got a little bit ahead of himself. And look at the damage from those imps just exploding towards you. Oh, the, the game is going super hardcore. There's skills everywhere. We're talking about the nice and uh, going a little bit too aggressive there on so bad. He's going to be paying with his life as he will be taken down by PMA going forward. Seven Jesu secures the kill. At least equalize. Equalizes the kills there on the lane, but PMA is it's a good game. He is going for a spirit vessel versus a necro dragonite. Makes a lot of sense. Of course, it's more of a universal hero item, but it's it's definitely gonna be nice. Seven Jesu dies again. That is a really bad situation for uh, for the side of level up because. Well, this Razor should have won the lane, and he has lost it. Hasn't lost it heavily towards the Doom, but being behind with the Doom not going for Dev Devour paints the the right picture of what happened in that lane. Is that is he didn't have a good time. Rubik, he has three stick charges. He's being healed up. He will be more than fine. Doesn't even need to use it. He turns around to get the kill. Days, dum dum build elevated even further. Now have the shield rune, so even more HP. Never gonna kill that guy. Shaker going for a shard first. I guess he's bringing gain boots on the uh, on the career. Yep, that's the case. Uh, what was stolen? It will be the Eye of the Storm. Pretty nice spell to have. Though the thing is, can you get close with the Rubik? Mystic Flare doing a lot of damage. He gets stunned up a little bit later there. And his stinking green cloud will go down with him as well. So, so bad. Does uh, he wants to be able to scale versus an alchemist having a Midas? If you just dodge that first timing of his, don't lose the game there. You are going to be able to do much more later on. There will be a silence onto the Ember Spirit. The second it expires, Toshi is going to be going forward, and this looks like a very dead so bad. Just a matter of time before he dies to the slide of fist. Actually, you went a little bit too deep. There is going to be a golem that saves his life, and immediately he gets himself to the low ground with the remnant that was previously placed. They just didn't have the damage on level up. They've lost two heroes, and they might actually lose more. Slide of Fish Chains connects onto the Dragon Knight. Here comes the upheaval. It's gonna be a slow dragon, but he gets himself away or flies himself away. Actually, gonna be tossed in. The Lotus Orb returns the stun onto Rubik as well, but he's still super slowed down. There will be a Reaper Sight and a Stolen Fissure giving that one to Rubik was a mistake. A huge mistake. A Green Fissure comes in to secure that the third hero from level up will be losing their life. And if owned me, yeah, of a different smoke on one side, smoke on the other. God the Juice, he's baiting with the BKB. Come for me. Let's fight level up. They know something is wrong, and Toshi will be going in onto own me. Why well, is the Lotus or protecting himself? Stun onto the Doom. Mystic Flare gonna be shared there between the three heroes of the Doom. Not gonna be taking that much damage. He's gonna be he using the Healing Lotus and the Doom onto the Shaker, who now cannot move because of the uphill. They've caught the Necro in the back lines as well. And now the chase is on. You have no Necro. You have nobody to protect you. There's gonna be an unstable concoction onto this Dragonite, and they just need to clip his wings. He is gonna be fatally bonded to some creeps in the back lines there. We're now probably gonna get murdered by Navi Jr. Then, uh... Without it, they have the medall medallion too. On Redis, if I'm not uh, mistaken, they did lose the Doom. Uh, got a little bit too far out there. God the Juice picks up the Aegis. He doesn't have the uh, chemical rage. There will be a smoke. I think it's time to run. There is a buyback on the Doom if they really want to fight this going in onto the Ember. He is uh, gonna be dodging the Fissure, but you cannot dodge the Silence even with the Blade Mail. That is just a dead Ember inside of the pit. It's gonna be slowed down. Ridus is losing his life. It will be the Death Seeker that comes over and helps for sure as God the Juice just runs in with the BKB and does absolutely nothing without the chemical rage. He's so freaking weak. He thinks he can fight. Daze is in the vicinity helping him. Seven Jesu will be using the BKB Lotus Orbs on him. Unstable Concoction onto own me but they don't care they're gonna be surrounding the alchemist without the bkb he gets the blink out and the ulti killing him now not gonna be easy they don't have the ulti of the necro on me gets close as well let's see how hard it will be to kill him days he steals the echo slam and there will be an unstable concoction return but he dies before that actually happens days is doing his best and here comes the doom they were missing him in a fight but he's ready to clean it up he's burning down the earth that you like to shake so much sweet and strong he's running away as much as he can but days will not allow that to happen with a fade ball he ends his life as well there by uh level up okay they are aware they're aware that something is coming they have good vision 
Now they're gonna have better positioning. Old me, he breaks the smoke, but his smokes does break as well. Beautiful Fissure coming out from the Shaker. Follow up stun as well. Old me staying in front. He will be going for the Ghost Shroud stun onto the Ember. Echo stun. They go with everything on him. The Ember is that doesn't have a buyback. There will be a stolen goal. Very nicely done by the Rubik. This is something that could completely turn around the fight. They did take away the Fatal Bonds as well. This is not looking good for them. The Shaker does go for a buyback. BMA dropping low. Seven chests standing his ground. He is the strongest. The Eye of the Storm killing everybody. And then up evil. You're gonna have to stop it if you want to live. But Seven Jesu now. He's the one in trouble. It will be the plasma field that is stolen. Seven Jesu trying to run away. There will be a stun onto the alchemist. He's burning down. They're to the radius, but will ultimately live days. Now he's the one that's gonna be in so much trouble. Surrounded by three heroes. Navi Jr. These roach fights, not something they should be taking. They've only killed the two supports, one of which bought back and came back to save their carry. Pretty easy Roche for level up. Even the Navi Jr., they're coming over. They think they can fight. They probably feel like they have to fight. There will be a Fissure to keep them away. Immediate Enchant Totem. And there's the stun from Lorov. Mystic Flare already. There will be a Reaper Sight again. The same situation, but they did not need anything more from it. And now the Doom will be returning to the Doom himself with a Lotus Orb. So that's gonna be three heroes that just like that make it for Rubik. is not running away anywhere. He turns around to fight like a man and face death. Head on as level up, bring down four heroes and Navi Jr. completely helpless. Falling. Dragon starts flying in and level up are in a the smoke. They're going for the juggler. They want to end this this one right now. PMA gonna get stunned up. They have the ulti from the necro. It's not gonna be enough damage. He pops the BKB. Lotus Star will be protecting him as well. It's seven chests too. He is taking a lot of damage too. PMA goes in again. The Doom will be dropping out. He doesn't use his ulti. He didn't use his ulti and no buyback. Run away from God the Juice. He has the four step to protect him. Seven chests. He might actually lose his Aegis. He cannot get away from the upheaval. But finally, there is gonna be a fissure on both of the support. You're not gonna be stealing it on and with the echo sweden strong is showing them how dota is being played and seven jesu is the one executing him in the end there's so many tower shots going for sweden strong but it's not gonna be enough to kill him this is a tanky support you've lost two of your heroes three of those you have lost one of those had a buyback so two of them will be staying under the ground for now and a three versus five scenario winning versus the cheese on the on the razor that's gonna be very tough thing to do there is still a tier two on the top lane protecting navi jr they lose this fight they will call gg there's absolutely no way that they don't do it will be some Black Dragon Illusions going for the tower, but they're gonna go into the back lines. Toshi gets a slide of his chain. The Glimmer Cape it is protecting the Skyrath Mage. He has the four step as well. Seven Jesu goes forward. He has the Ascetics cap, so you don't want to be using spells on him right now. Look at him destroying Daze, just destroying him with his whip of his. It is gonna be electrical around him as they are trying to finish him off, but he's standing his ground. There will be an upheaval. The Alchemist fighting inside of it. Nobody's moving, but nobody's taking damage either. This Alchemist, he just tickles the Razor through it, as it will be two heroes that two of which are course, and there's the GG. You didn't manage to win the fight. There will be a cheese used, and it will make sure that Navi Jr. lose this game number one. Level up will be the victors. Thirty-eight minutes and twenty. God, the juice. Oh, he's making a mistake. There's the mistake. You're a little bit too far. There will be a uh, slow from the brewmaster as well as the bramble maze is protecting the PMA. Is surviving is so bad. It will be the one to die. PMA will die in the end. But it is still gonna be a first blood for Navi Jr. As Lornoff comes over with a kick, going through. A lot of heroes, and now turning around on Teridis, but he won't be able to get that one. The kick has a long cooldown. Cinder Brew now on Toshi is like, I don't want to be here, Lion. What the hell are you doing? I'm dying. That's what's going to be happening. Two supports of level up go down as Navi Jr. The one lost one, and they got the first blood as well. Going forward on 7, Jesu thinks well. Will definitely connect. Let's see if they can get the skill. But even if they can't, 7, Jesu is not going to the lane. Super healthy. He will get smacked down by Zone Illusions. By days chasing him down. And the TP will come after the usage of the uh of the sticks days will follow him let's read this so not the biggest of things and still only the grim stroke position five but we'll see we'll see Still starting with the uh, with the Inkswell is a problem though. Speaking about the Inkswell, speaking about the supports of Navi Jr., speaking about the supports in general, there's just a slaughterhouse around the map, and the Shadow Demon will die as well. All of the issues are taken care of. Level up 
all of the lanes are being won by them, which is something that they're probably super happy with. There will be a Cursed Crown on days. Uh, they did come over to 7 Jesuit, but health will be coming from the other side as two poison stacks on himself. He needs to be careful, and here's Lauren off only level 5, but it doesn't matter. He's coming in. He does have the urn as well. Immediately, he gets the ashes from days, and now he's gonna be using that to sprinkle it over PMA. That's pretty sick. Now, turning around on Turidus, who does have the ink spell, will never be able to pop it. He gets taken down by 7 Jesuit during the kick over three cores of Navi Jr. and then two supports a little up over the two supports of Navi Jr. owned me he could be in trouble he needs his level six but none of the creeps are gonna be dying and I told you guys this guy knows how to play his land but stopping the sink swell not gonna be happening he did have the one charges healing lotus never got the chance to use it the stun was there and Toshi comes over to finish off the kill with the swash you understand the importance of this star it gives way too much free movement for level up around the map they already control the side lanes it would be really bad if they would be able to uh, come to the mid lane if they want as well load me comes from the side they will be going for the grim stroke finger gonna be used not for a kill but to secure it at least toshi well, Curse Crown doesn't do much. We're inside of the Rolling Thunder. Daze tries to get away. There will be a Hurl Boulder going his way. And another Boulder being kicked over him. Throwing rocks at your enemy seems to be a really good way to fight your battles. And despite Navi Jr. bringing three heroes there to defend the tower, they didn't have enough. See? We'll see if... Uh, if the PA will be able to get strong enough, fast enough. Because you need to be ahead. Kind of thinking the Desso is something I would want to buy over the uh, BKB. There is going to be a double size. They need to remove that over from the Panda. But he doesn't have his ulti anyway. So these people are looking very much that their eyes comes in just in time. Got the juice. Gets the blink out. In a perfect situation, if he had gotten silenced there and stunned up, Larnoff probably would have been able to kill him and got the Juice jumping out of the blink strike over and over again. This is going to leave the Brewmaster in a lot of trouble. He has been slowed down, trying to get himself away. Swashbuckle will make sure that it doesn't happen, but they have the kick, they have the silences, they have the rolls, and they have the kill. Toshi will pay for his sins as 7 Jesu comes over to help. And now the chase is on. Got the Juice will go for a TP out days. Well, TPing right next to an Earth Spirit, that's very not, that's a pretty optimistic situation. If you want to do it, you have to do it the second he rolls, he misses you. You already need to be in a TP because now maybe kill him once more minute 25. That's going to be great for you. That would be game winning situations. Pango is a solid kill as well as Navi. Uh, they're coming over super aggressive. So bad it will get silenced up, but he will be able to remove that one. And yeah, Pango is gone. No team fight for you. Navi Jr. Now they just have to run because level up. They've killed your main team fight hero. Anybody who comes even remotely close currently to level up will just be taken down. And well, they're going to have to cut their losses. Navi Jr. will leave another support and get themselves out of there in time. Attack speed, Brewmaster. Going for the Octarine core. He just wants to be able to use the ulti as often as possible and that Radiance for it to kick in. Roll in. They have the hard. They have the slows. They have the silences. And Riddus is looking very much dead. There will be a disruption to buy him 2.5 seconds of time, but ultimately he will fall without getting too many spells off PMA. He will silence. Now he's going to be silenced for good because he will die. Lornoff goes for a roll. Doesn't connect on it, but he can still continue with the chase. Uh, they will be bringing down the Asian Black Dragon, giving themselves 250 gold. Then it will be the Pango being taken down. He's got the juice. Goes for 7 Jesse, but the he comes out and now he's gonna be blunting his sword. They're gonna be sharp enough to get the kill. Trying to get away. Not gonna be happening. They smack down the PA. They're not gonna be missing through that blur. And Seven Jesu loses his life. Inside of a smoke, inside of a blur, and got the juice courier flying through. Oh, this courier doesn't know just how close to death it is. It is bringing the uh, smoke there to his teammate Sweden. Strong breaking the smoke. They don't know that he is there. He just broke the smoke, but they didn't see it. Actually, Toshi going forward. They're going in onto the panda. He's not taking any damage. They need to finish him off. The terrorize came through, and actually, he'll be going down. Got the juice, losing the damage, losing the HP, and he'll be stunned up by the line. The silence on the line, so he cannot use the finger. The force staff will be there, and they will bring down the PA. No buyback on him. The finger comes through on days, finishes him off, Sweden strong. He gets the spell off there on the hex before he dies. The roll will connect on the PMA quite nice. He doesn't have the roll. He can't scream, but his axe is lingering and getting to the pit. Navi Jr., they have all of their ultis and they're gonna try to wrap around once again. But Roche, Roche is taking some damage. Not that much though. They know their enemies are not the fastest ones at taking it. They're going the same route once again. They're thinking, oh, they're not going to be able to read this. Oh, yes, they will. The Terrorize onto the PA. They know exactly where he is going forward. How they want to take it away. They will be purging it off. Their Demonic Clan's coming into play. Here comes the roll. Going onto the Razor. He's taking so much damage. He's dying. He's going to get the BKB off a little bit too late, my friend. Now got the juice. He is going to be so strong. The dagger in the face. 
of that poor Dark Willow, and it's time for the Chris to kick in. The Cyclone getting him up into the air. Get this guy out of the fight, or he's gonna be a huge problem. Owned me. He has the kill on the support. The buyback on so bad. He needs to come back into this fight. There will be a stun flying onto the PA. Does get drunk, so he's gonna be missing a couple of the hits, but he has did his job in the fight. Razor, not one than it would have been for level up, knowing without the Razor, they can't really fight. They don't have the split either. Gonna be going in. Lorinov uses his blade mail. He's actually standing around and fighting. Who gets the He's gonna be got the juice. He snatches it. He didn't. He was the one to kill the Roche. But now he has another life. Soulbind onto the Doom Fat Heroes. The two cores tries to get out to the Ogre Silton. Not gonna be happening. Roll out. Not gonna be there. Disruption. Just the time. Beautiful time from the line onto the two of them. Are here comes the PA with an Inkswell. Not gonna be enough with the Chris to get the kill. Trying to run away with Sweden Strong. Not gonna be happening. As Toshi does finish him off. And Lorinov running away. He still has that heart healing him quite fresh. So. Dagger jump, bam, somebody dies. You can dagger jump immediately. Got the juice. I think Swell was using that one. There will be a roar. Four staff on the side. Razor will be surviving for now. The soul bind is there. He turns around, got the juice. He's losing damage, but he jumps to the side. He will be fine. His BKB was already used. Ridus gets smacked down by Omi, but does survive to go into the fountain where he does die to the magnetized damage. The chase is on level up. They don't want to let this one go. We'll be going for the other support as well. The kick does not connect, but that was hella close. They still trying to run away. Not going to be happening now inside of the disruption, which will give him two seconds to live. He gets the blink away. The chase is on. You are not gonna get to the base and a kick between the legs. Uh, level up, going for the Roche, it's getting low, and they will get it down before Navi Jr. even get close. Daze is coming from the side, wants to play some vision. Put him, could put himself in a pretty bad position. He did put the finish him off, and in 40 seconds he'll be back up to full if he doesn't get taken down. Oh, got the juice. He does finish off so bad there on the side. Staying a little bit too long. Seven just to Satanic. Healing himself up. But it's time to run. You're in a four versus five scenario. Without the split. Without the finger. You cannot stay here. And they did stay here. Razor will be losing one of his lives. Still has the BKB on me. Does have a BKB as well. But the roar goes through it. Hex onto the PA. They're turning around him. This time around. Where's your BKB? Where's your help? Give us your damage. Give us your life. Into the back lines. Goes the Brewmaster without the PA. How do you even kill this guy? Well, the Swashbuckle does a ton of damage. They will be silencing him. The Phantom's Brace returns there, so Riddus can go for it once more. The Inks, well, the disruption. The supports are saving their cores, but the thing is, who's saving the support? Slap down on the side there. Daze dies. Now turning around on Tutoshi. He's looking very much dead. Will be drawn before he dies. That's to soothe the pain. Anesthesia and steals attack speed. Poor PA. She's gonna have blunt blades, and she's gonna be hella slow. Blunt but heavy blades, I guess. Toshi going for a roll. There will be a roar as well. He will be fine on the razor. He has the standing. No BKB though. Split has now come. Going back and got the juice. Gets the kill. He has the buyback. Not using it right now. Look at the back lines. Magnetized going super strong. This guy is tanky. But got the juice. He does so much damage. Once the crits are in, the hex will come through. Little piggy. Can Lorinoff run away from the little piggy? No, it's come back to, to its full form. And got the juice. will finish him off. So two heroes dead on the side of level up. Both of which are cores and only could be next on the menu. Did he escape with one panda? Nope. Oh, actually, yes, he did. He escaped with one panda. It's gonna be the storm panda. That he's. They're trying to get some Lincoln spheres. The line is working towards one. Razor. He wants to finish off the Mjolnir. He does have the money for it, but he won't have the buyback. Then Rolling Thunder threatening with it. Got the juice. Inkswell is on him. Seven Jesu. It's gonna be out of the storm. Use Navi Jr. They decide to run away. You're not gonna be running away. There will be a piggy here. Rolling Thunder going in through all the BKB from Seven Jesu has been used. PMA is losing his HP, but look at Seven Jesu. He has lost his HP already. They lose the Beastmaster buying back. They know got the juice. He cannot die. He needs to escape right now with this invisible the moment but that's not gonna be lasting too long trying to get away with the pango not gonna be happening Lorenov has found him and Toshi will most definitely be going down up the hill there and that is where he will fall three heroes without buyback two more are alive but neither will. no buybacks nobody has one okay brewmaster will have one in 25 seconds when he gets the gold and there's gonna be one on the earth spirit so that's gonna be quite huge they found the PA now taking away her mana now taking away her life trying to defend him he doesn't have anything to heal with no BKB for 30 seconds the roar will come through but it's not gonna Gonna help one bit. You're gonna be losing all of your heroes. Nobody has a buyback. And Navi Jr., they will lose this game, accepting defeat after they get caught. And guess who caught them? It's gonna be Sweden Strong on his line. Very nice performance from level up. Sweden Strong, his positioning on that Roche fight that turned around the game in their favor.